Scientists have an undeserved reputation for being dry and humorless. To disabuse yourself of this notion, all you have to do is look at the topic of scientific names. Now, some of them are kind of bland. For example, the black-footed ferret's scientific name is Mustella nigrapes, which is Greek for black-footed ferret. But once you start digging a little deeper, you run across some pretty funny ones. For example, the western diamondback rattlesnake, Crotalus atrox, means scary noisemaker. The order that contains shrews and moles, Eulipotifla, means really fat and blind. This penchant for humorous scientific names extends to paleontologists, too. For example, there is a carboniferous amphibian whose name is Eucrita melanolimnites, the real creature from the Black Lagoon. If you discover a species, you can name it after somebody, usually simply by adding an I or two to the end of the person's name. But it doesn't mean that the person necessarily has to be real. There's an Australian moth that has a marking that looks like a second head, so the scientists named it Erechtheus bebelbroxii. There's a sponge-like fungus from Malaysia whose name is, I kid you not, Spongiforma squarepantsii. But my favorite one is a fish that's found in the fjords of New Zealand. Its name is Fjordicthus slardibardfastii. And if you get the joke, you are a nerd. But I think my all-time favorite scientific name is the order that contains rabbits. It's order Lagomorpha. Literally means, in Greek, it looks like a bunny. <laughs>